Sonic Unleashed, one of the most loved and hated Sonic games of all time. It was released in 2008 only for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii, PlayStation 2, and mobile. However, the Wii and PlayStation 2 version is a completely different game when compared with the more powerful consoles one, and the mobile one looks like this. As the recording of this video, the game still don't receive a port or remaster to the newer consoles, such as the PlayStation 5 and the Nintendo Switch. And currently, the only way to play it on a modern console is on the Xbox One, where the game runs at 30 FPS, and on the Xbox Series consoles, where the game runs at 60 FPS. But what if you don't have any of these consoles, or even if you have a 360 or a PlayStation 3? But you wanna play it on a better frame rate, since both consoles struggle to maintain 30 FPS. Well, you can try emulating. Let's see how well does it perform. You can see my full PC specs on the description, but to give you a summary, the specs are on the screen. It's far from being a high-end PC, but I still can run most games just fine on 1080p low to medium settings. For this test, I use the 360 emulator called Xenia, as it currently offers more performance than the PS3 emulator Starting the game, every cutscene runs just fine, with the CD ones being pre-handed and capped at 60 FPS. So it's really not a problem. And the real-time rendered ones running usually at 60 FPS or more, with some eventual drops. Going to the daytime stages, the first level, Apotos Act 1, the performance is really good, being above 60 FPS most of the time. Nothing to complain. The X2 of Apotos also ran greatly, and the biggest performance drop was in this area, where it drops to around 50 FPS. Chunan, Rooftop Run, Arid Sands, Skyscraper Scamper, and Cool Edge run just fine, but a problem happens in levels like Savannah Citadel and Jungle Joyride, where visual bugs like this are more frequent. This can be annoying sometimes, but it won't stop you from finishing these levels. You can also experience this in other stages like Chunin, but I played it several times and only experienced it one time. In performance, the most demanding stage is Eggman Land which comes close to 30 FPS sometimes, but I don't experience any visual bugs in this stage. Coming to the Rare Hog stages, I don't have seen any visual bugs yet, and the biggest frame hit drops occur usually when there is a lot of enemies, usually going to 40 or 50 FPS. As you can see, this also occurs on the Xbox Series version, which is the best one to play currently. Progressing through the game, most boss fights really don't happen to have a problem on the performance part too, as well as the hub worlds, the ones with less performance being the ones that have more population density, such as Shamar and Chunan. I will be briefly showing some stages of worlds and bosses so you guys can draw your own opinion.
Here we... So after that, would I recommend playing the game on PC? Well, I would still recommend the Xbox Series version, as it also runs at 60 FPS and can even run on 4K on the Xbox Series X and 1440p on the Xbox Series S. You can also achieve these resolutions with a faster PC than mine, as Xenia don't have an 1080p option for Sonic Unleashed, as far as I know, and 1440p is too heavy to play on my PC, so I played it in 720p using AMD FSR to help the resolution a little. So if you have a better graphics card than mine, then yes, you can play on higher resolutions, but you will likely still experience some visual bugs that you won't experience in the Xbox Series version. But playing it on PC is still better than playing on the older consoles version, as you have to play it on below 720p, and you also you have to experience less than 30 FPS in a lot of areas in the game, which don't occur on both the PC emulator, if you have a PC like mine at least, and in the Xbox Series version. And you also have slower loading times as well. The Xbox One performance comes in between all of this, as it runs at 1080p, but only at 30 FPS. In this case, if you have a high-end PC, your experience will be far better if you are complacent to accept the eventual visual bug. Say that, my ranking for playing Sonic Unleashed currently is the following. Xbox Series, PC Emulation, Xbox One, Xbox 360 and PS3. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. If I said anything wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments. And if you want to see more, please let me know. See you later.